Across the country, more and more people are growing their own fresh produce or buying it locally from small growers at a farm stand or as a farm share. Restaurants and supermarkets are featuring locally grown food in a vast array of new varieties. Johnny's has been at the center of this grow local, buy local revolution. At Johnny's Selected Seeds, our mission is helping families, friends, and communities feed one another by providing superior seeds, tools, information, and service. Johnny's got its start in 1972, when 22-year-old Rob Johnston left college to work on an organic market farm in New Hampshire. He found a strong demand for flavorful, fresh vegetables, but had a hard time finding high-quality seeds. As he started sourcing unique vegetables, he became more and more intrigued by the seed industry. In 1975, Rob found the perfect and affordable location and bought a former dairy farm in Albion, Maine, with a dark, sandy loam soil. Today, Johnny's customers can communicate with us and place orders in a variety of ways based on their preference. A number of customers still mail or fax us their orders. Our 800 number provides a free phone order option seven days a week, up to 16 hours a day during the busiest times of the year. Of course, orders can be placed on Johnny's Secure website 24 hours a day. They're very, very convenient. I live in Sydney and they have, their outlet is convenient. Plus, you know, my wife goes on the internet and of course come January we're, uh, we're looking at the catalog and starting to order our seeds and uh, you know, very, very nice people, very knowledgeable people. I've, I've found that uh, if I have questions about what do I plant at a certain time of year, they've, they've come right through for me. So it's a, it's a very good company. Not only, you know, the seeds, but also the uh, and sundry products that go along with a, a hobby garden, if you will. Our mission has guided us for more than 35 years, and we have become a highly respected seed and tool supplier for successful market farmers and avid home gardeners in the United States and more than 50 countries around the world. Many of our customers are certified organic growers, and we have continued to increase the number of our organic seeds and supplies every year. We also recognize that the majority of our customers don't want genetically modified food. We took a pledge more than a decade ago that we will not knowingly buy or sell genetically modified seeds or plants. I love the customers. Gardeners are great people. Uh, I learned something from the customers. Hopefully they learned something from us. It's just a sharing of information. I come here every, every spring. I like the sort of organic ethos, the fact that it's a local business. The way everything's set up, it just kind of gets me inspired, you know, for the, the season ahead. I always dream bigger than, than it actually turns out. I and a lot of other growers like me are always in a situation where, golly, I really need that seed tomorrow. And any day I call Johnny's and I call before 2 p.m. and order the seed, it's in my mailbox the next day. And that's probably the, the best service any seed company could provide to a grower. Our core group of customers here at Johnny's are smaller commercial fresh market growers and serious home gardeners. The breeding program here exists to create vegetable varieties for that group. There aren't a lot of companies doing vegetable breeding for those people, for small farmers or home gardeners. How do we make a new variety like Racer Plus? Well, we, we develop what we call parent lines, which are specially selected pumpkins with the traits that we're looking for. And we control the mating by hand pollination so that we guide the uh, development of these lines by controlling who the parents are. The work in developing uh, great seeds is done uh, primarily outdoors. I really like the idea of buying seeds from a company that I know is actively involved in some of the breeding for many of the seeds that they're uh, supplying to the farmers. And rather than just being a store, uh, buying what they can find, it, it really appeals to me that Johnny's is a company 
that is actively involved in the creation of some of these varieties. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Johnny's added flowers, medicinal and culinary herbs, and cover crop seeds, as well as fruit plants and tubers such as potatoes. In response to growers' needs and to address trends in growing methods, Johnny's has continued to introduce scale-appropriate tools for the small commercial grower, including our salad greens harvester and pinpoint seeders. In collaboration with Elliot Coleman, we introduced a broad fork, the Colonier hoe, and the Quick Hoops Bender. I just purchased two of the new uh, hoop benders, uh, the four foot one and the six foot one, so I'm really excited about trying to use those tools to get uh, a jump on the season in the spring and also extend the season in the fall and maybe overwinter some crops as well. The advances in agriculture over the last hundred years have been mainly for large scale production. And when I started, the tools available were basically the tools of the 19th century. Nothing had been done about them. So I had a lot of ideas, as any farmer does, when I was working, and gee, wouldn't it be nice if this were done this way or this were done that way? And I was fortunate to find people who wanted to help create those ideas and make them into workable tools. And that's fine, but they would have just sat there if it wasn't for the fact that Johnny's was willing to be involved in this and put them in their catalog. And since that catalog goes to the uh, million or so people most likely to need those tools, that was an ideal partnership. And uh, I'm just pleased as punch that Johnny's was willing to do that. I have been a, a long time customer of Johnny's and uh, always um, have been very happy with the quality and selection of the seeds that I could buy from Johnny's. And over the years, I've struck a friendship with um, the international sales agent, uh, Chris Ciladi. Eventually, at a meeting or at a conference, I met uh, Rob. And shortly after that, I was invited to sit on the board uh, of directors for Johnny's uh, because they wanted the uh, input from a couple of growers uh, into the, the running of the company. There's, there's an interesting story about Peru, actually. Um, we were up in the mountains and they were growing cold weather crops. They were growing radicchio on these terraces on the side of a mountain. And from across the river, it looked, you know, just like stairs. And then you get over there and these terraces are probably 30 to 40 feet wide. And you get thinking about it that these terraces are thousands of years old. And whatever their original purpose was, which I'm assuming was farming, now it's being used to grow radicchio uh, that's being shipped out of Peru to other countries. So it's kind of humbling to think that the seeds that I'm selling are being shipped down to Peru and they're growing on these ancient, ancient, you know, fields, uh, terraces, and then the product is turned around and being sold and somebody's making a living doing that and I'm helping them do that. We are a global company with our roots firmly planted in Maine. Several years ago, Rob Johnston made a decision to turn his company over to his employees. Johnny's will be fully employee owned by 2012. There are only so many things to do um, with a business in terms of turning it over. You can, you can put it on the stock market, which didn't appeal to us. The company is a little small for that. You can sell it to uh, another company, a uh, third party, uh, or you can uh, sell it to your employees. And we chose the latter. Uh, it was an opportunity for us to keep um, the present staff and our present farming operation and just everything uh, the way it's worked for 37 years. My proudest thing is when, uh, when a grower tells us that we're really helping them make a living. That's, that's my greatest gift for the work I've done here.